Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome to Jurassic Park GC Tour Edition. So, fairways are normal, greens are firm, green speeds fast, everything else is at default. We're going to be playing off the black tees which are playing 7,546 yards and as always, pin set numero uno. This course was designed by Granite Super on the PS4 so I really do not know what to expect, the name just caught my attention. So hole number one, par four, playing 508 yards, stroke index 13. There's the gates to the park, very cool addition. Clearly lava separating the fairway and the cliffs. This one's going to be a severe dogleg right. Look at the, the dinosaur on the right there. This is my second attempt at playing this, guys. I think I got to hole number four um, before I got an error report. So fingers crossed we don't get any blue screen. So we've got a 15 mile per hour wind. Look at that gate, very, very cool. Be excellent if you could get a bit of writing on that. Beware, golfers around. So just try to set this down the right hand side and allow that wind to pull us back. My swing tempo is just all over the place this night, guys. So this round, you'll probably see me focusing more on the swing tempo rather than my swing line. So we could have a few vicious swing lines out there. But for some strange reason, just really struggling with my game. It's not a consistent level, but really cool dinosaur there. I tried showing it in the first area, but I just can't get the height on the camera to properly show it off. But just try to float this five hybrid into these firm, fast greens. The wind should do more than enough to, to keep us in play here. Decent strike. This could track really, really well if it sits. Getting a great view of the dinosaur there though. But like I say, I missed that the first time I played that. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. There could well be a few things I do miss. But that's actually way long. Didn't expect that ball to run out as far as that with that 11 mile per hour wind on her face. So green speeds are 187. This one is going to break hard, right? But I have heard a lot of people have not completed the, the 18 holes here, guys. Just due to the, the course being too tough. And it looks like we're going to have high wind speed, so this is going to make it even more tougher. Decent putt. Good line. Just didn't have the, the weight behind it. But we should tap this in for an opening part. So I don't know what to think of that when people are saying, early, I've played this course, but I rage quit on like hole number seven or something. It was just too unfair. But I'll give my own thoughts on the, the course, but... This is why we do these courses, guys. It's just to get them out there to you guys, bring attention to the course and give the designer some credit. But hole number two, par three, playing 189 yards, stroke index nine. So 12 mile per hour wind, 75 feet below. I think a lofted five iron should just about do the trick here. Tough green. If we go too far right, the ball's going to disappear right. And if we go too far left, it's going to disappear to the left. Just try to fire this right at the flag stick here. Trying to attack the pin. Hopefully our yardage is right. Not a bad strike, actually. Slightly pulled it left at the top. But we fully lofted that up. And I can't see that sitting down going by the, the overhead view, which we've seen in the green. It's actually going to work its way all the way off the green there. So tough outcome there. Tough break. Like I did notice that the flyover, very uh, tough to get that ball to hold this green. You would have to land that bang in the middle. So let's see if we can flop this close and walk away with par. Don't want to be long here. I'd rather lay up short. Should check up. Oh, wow. Or you could just do that and go right at the pin. I didn't intend to play it as firm as that. But we do tap that in for par. Almost a birdie there. Almost first birdie of the round. So let's move on to hole number three. Par four playing 425 yards, stroke index 11. I think the smoke coming out of the volcanoes is such a creative idea, guys. Very, very cool feature. And this is a dog leg right now. This is the hole where I have got the error report, the blue screen. I did achieve to finding the fairway here, which you do get a, a challenge unlocked. It's finding the fairway. I've got no idea what the thing is up there. I can't. I did try zooming in and out. The drone just won't allow me to, to have a look at it, guys. But I imagine it's a lava-making machine or something. So that 14 mile per hour diagonal wind. Just applying a touch of draw here. Let's see if we can find the right-hand side of this fairway. If 
first round, the wind was only at six mile per hour the first time, but this is the whole, where I got the error report, is that going to kick over? No, wind just didn't bring me. I played my approach shot and boom, got an error report. But I think I've had three error reports a day, which is three too many in my opinion, but just going to fully loft up this wedge. Hopefully that wind helps us out. This should bounce out very aggressively for us on these firm, fast greens, which, let's be honest, a wedge shouldn't do. Should bounce and then check up. There's that huge bounce forward. Just didn't have enough legs on it. Maybe just applied too much loft to that club. But we're going to have an uphill putt from 24 feet. This one's for the birdie. It's going to move left. Don't think I've played that firm enough, you know. No, didn't hit it. It's going to come up short. Line was decent, just didn't play with enough pace. And we should be tapping this in for our third consecutive par. I was one under. I managed to birdie um, the first hole. But fingers crossed, no more error reports. If not, I can't see me attempting this again, guys. But hole number four, par five, playing 590 yards, stroke index 15. This looks a monster par five. See what I just done there? <laughs> and this is going to be a severe dog leg left. This looks like it could play tough. These trees here look as if they could be right in my line. If we've got to take our tee shot down the right hand side. And a tough elevated green. So is there a shortcut here? No, nothing. I think we're going to have to come down to two wood. Allow this 14 mile per hour wind to take us to the right and we should just be short of these bunkers down below us. The best of strikes, but it's going to do what we've asked. Should run out quite well for us. But these trees that I mentioned in the flyover could now well be in play here. This could be a tough shot. Certainly not reaching this green in two. Got a 13 mile per hour wind in our face. Ooh, these trees are in play. So aiming right, just applying a touch of draw here, combined with it, the lie at our feet, and just trying to come around the right-hand side of these trees. Solid. It's decent. Did we catch a tree? I'm not sure. Oh, we must off. Oh, we were so unlucky there. Probably going to leave us a lengthy pitch. Oh, we must have caught that overhanging tree branches there, though. We are 53 yards out, up 11 feet. That wind will have a... A factor to play as well. Oh, I've put a slow on it. It's going to go right now. Yardage would have been bang on to. Yeah, yardage was beautiful. Just with that slow and pushing it right. I, I just can't put my finger on it just now, guys. Just I, I'm finding every swing and every swing tempo a chore at the moment. But this is a tough putt. Down three inches. It's going to turn aggressively to the right. We've just tapped that. Is it going to turn enough? Oh, burns the right edge. Couldn't have got any closer without that dropping. That's actually went seven feet past, so we could well be struggling to get birdie here. Eh, par here. Nine footer up three inches. Just going outside the right cup. It does turn. Hate getting birdies, eh, pars on par fives, guys. Not birdieing a par five, but in these wind conditions... In the layout of this course so far, this is extreme. Hole number five, par four, playing 362 yards, stroke index five. Check out the volcano spewing out lava. Once again, great touch, very good detail. Can't see us reaching this in one. And I tell you something, our tee shot could be awkward. Don't want to land on the left because look at that. That could obscure our view into the, the green. So got to come up, up, up here onto the, the right hand side allow that wind to take us around try to aim for the right hand side of this fairway and allow that wind to take us around I've pushed that one wind should just about bring us back, it, fortunately it has done but I'm going to be more to the right now would have liked that more centre of that fairway but due to that push right we didn't get our intended landing zone so 140, let's say it's playing 150, but with this 14 mile per hour wind, this should bring us right up to the green here, trying to get this as close to the pin as possible. There is a slight backstop past the flag. So 
It's a laser beam. Oh, how's that going so far left? I think that wind may have just changed on me slightly. Not a bad effort. We are going to have a putt for birdie. Probably about a 12 to 15 footer. 12 foot bang on. This one's going to turn quite aggressively the first few feet. It's got a good line. It's got a good line. Good putt. And we do pick up our first birdie of the round. And move to one under par. Tough challenge in course so far. But hole number six, par three, playing 191 yards, stroke index three. This is going to be a severe downhill par three. Why, once again, look at the greens, guys. It's going to be so tough to hold this. Down 74 feet, 14 mile per hour wind. It's got to be six iron. And we're just going to deal off this a touch. That wind is going to hold us up. Don't want to go past the pin. Not a bad strike. Oh, this has got a good line. Has it got the legs? Should bounce out firmly. Oh, it's going to come up short, is it? Oh, just about hops onto the, the green and comes back off with the false front. And that's going to leave us a tricky chip shot from nine yards out. Hold on. Putt's on. Putt's definitely on here. Nine yards up one feet. Putting this from the fringe. Certainly going to turn left. Come on, turn, turn. Don't think it's going to turn enough, is it? Oh, it just didn't have the legs, but what a read. We absolutely nailed the read on that putt. And we do pick up another part. But the wind, with a mixture of some of the, the shots we've been faced here, is really making this a challenging course. But hole number seven, par four, playing 508 yards, long par four. Waterfalls off there in the distance. Oh, this is going to be a dog leg left. I've got no idea where we're going to land our tee shot here, by the way. Oh, look at that sign there. Jurassic Par GC. The name just caught my attention, guys. But it's great to showcase new designers and feature them on the channel. Whew. I think we're going to have to try. That fairway is definitely kicking left. Let's see if we can bounce this over that f the bunker. We're going to need a bit of luck here. Good clean swing. See if we can skip it over the bunker. Great execution. Absolute laser beam. So can it skip over? Oh, I don't think so. It's going to land right in it, is it? Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Huge element of luck involved there, guys. But if you haven't already done so, please hit that like button if you do appreciate good golf shots. It's another well-placed tree. Strategically placed. You don't have an easy shot into these greens at all, do you, so far? So just going to have to try and draw this round and try and nail this. It's not a bad strike. Draw should bring that round. It has done. Get down. Is it going to be a bit long? Oh, it is long. It's not going to hold the green, unfortunately. It looks like it could be a straightforward chipper putt, though. Oh, there's no break. I tell you what, guys, I've ne I don't think I've ever putted from the rough, but there's a first for everything. 101 feet, so we're going to have to give this up. Oh, my God. Wow, <laughs> huge unforced error. That's why. Let's learn from that. Let's see if we can slam this in for the part. Now, I don't think I swung that much different, but we were just on the edge of the rough there, and we do manage to, fortunately, get another part, and we do remain at one under. So hole number eight, par five, playing 545 yards, stroke index 17. So second easiest hole on the course. Looks like we are going to be going to the right. So dog leg right here. Once again. Looks like we could have a challenge in tee shot. There's a huge base in there that I don't think we want to land in. But love the the creativity of this course. That basin just here to the right, I don't want to get in there because that ball's going to come all the way back down and leave us an awkward uphill approach shot. So just going to try and draw this and try and keep this in the top part of that fairway. So there we go. My swing tempo has been far superior today. This is my second or third round 
Um, like I say, every other course I've played today, guys, error reports, got one here in the third hole. But just my tempo was just everywhere. So I'm trying to focus on that this round. Ooh, this is another tough shot. I really like how your line of sight is obscured on very nearly every green so far. So lofted this five hybrid up. Try to float this into this green. Oh, there's a the slope. That's going to be long and right bunker bind maybe. That just didn't feel like a slope. I'm the first to put my hand up when I know I'm not swinging well, tempo wise. But that just did not feel like a slow to me. So it's another par 5 we're struggling on. Got to put this in. Or get it close. Check up. Ah, oh, it didn't check up at all. Superb execution of that shot. Just didn't check up. Straightforward putt for the birdie. You know, nine footer. Just going left edge of the cup. Should hold its line. Does hold its line and we do pick up birdie number two. Would have liked to have eagled that hole. But let's move on to the final hole of the front night. Hardest hole in the course. Playing 489 yards. Tee shot is over this lake or this canyon. I wonder if there's any more dinosaurs. Because apart from the, the gate and the dinosaur, you wouldn't really associate Jurassic Park with the, the golf course probably call it more Volcano Island but I'm sure there'll be more references to Jurassic Park as we do progress but oh I can see how this is the hardest on the course we're gonna to have to severely draw this round this is gonna to be tough to try to find left of these trees off in the distance oh I've pushed it is it gonna hold its line may kick not just that push severely being punished for that slight push at the top it's like a narrow look at that bizarre swing line and we are going to be in the heavy rough oh this isn't good 75 to 82 i think two iron would just about get there the wind's clearly going to take us to the right lie at our feet as well the green is turning to the right just damage limitation here that's a good out we should just about find the green it's not going to hold though Oh, that's went way past. Didn't expect to get that distance with the, the lie percentage we had. But 17 yards, going to have to float. Oh, this is a horrible green. That is, a, I don't see how this ball stops. I'm just going to have to try and flop this as close to the pin as possible. Please stop. See, that's going to veer all the way off left now. That is a horrible green. Wow. I don't know what to make of that one. Obviously, I've landed it a bad area. I'm not saying it's an unplayable pin. But this is just for par night. 21 feet. Up one feet. Don't think we've played that firm enough. Oh, we did play it firm enough. Just didn't have the read. Very unlucky there. That's just another putt that just trickles millimetres past the, the hole. And we are going to pick up a bogey here. So first bogey of the round, not a nice green there with that pin location, got to be careful and we do finish the front nine at one under par, two birdies, one bogey, finding the going tough here, I can clearly see why people have not finished this round out, but I do thrive in challenges, but just not feeling the game it's now at the moment guys, I hope my um, tone or my attitude doesn't come across that I don't want to play the game. I hope I'm not coming across as frustrated. It's just that I'm just really not feeling the game just now. But can we drive this? We've got a 14 mile per hour wind. I think we could reach bunker at worst. Let's see if we can execute a great shot here. Just going to apply a touch of fade. Just try to get it through these trees. This is going to be some shot if it pays off. Got to make things happen in rounds like this. Oh, we've nailed it. It's certainly going to land in the bunker, I think, unless we get a very lucky hop, skip, and a bounce here. Go on, keep going. Oh, great effort. It's going to be a little flop shot from the bunker. Hopefully, we can get up and down for our birdie here. 28 yards, 79 to 87. Let's fully loft this and just go for the full attack. 
Oh, that's not came out well at all. It's going to run on a little bit. But that's a tricky part. Would have liked to have left that a lot closer to the pin than what we did. I do normally put slows on that flop shot, so it's silly when you think about it. It does add a few yards. Is it going to turn? Oh, it drops on the side door. And we do get that drop shot straight back and move back to two under par. So, hole number 11, par 5, playing 592 yard stroke index 8. But this course is really going to test your, your game, especially in these conditions. And it's going to test your patience as well. I don't like the, the look of that ridge here on this fairway. And once again, I don't think we've got a line of sight after our tee shot. Certainly don't want to be on the right-hand side of that fairway or that tree is going to obscure you by the looks of things. But we've got a 13 mile per hour wind. Just looking to hang it up over the top of these trees. Allow that wind to take us round to the centre of the fairway. Oh, superb execution. Hopefully it holds this ridge. Yeah. Bang in the middle. I don't know if we're going to get through these trees here. That, that's the main concern that I noticed straight away. And I don't want to be on the right. Look at that tree there. So just hoping for my luck here. Try to get through these trees. I imagine we're going to hit one of them. I don't think we'll, we'll play a shot where we don't hit the tree. Yeah, we have hit the tree. Oh, that's really held me up. And with that, uh, I don't know what I think about that. I don't really see what other option we had, to be honest. But I am an aggressive player. There probably was a shot that I could have cautiously played. But that's just not kind of player I am. I'm just going to deal off this. If we land this in the front of the green, which I'm hoping we should just about get there, it should release quite aggressively for us. Oh, it's not getting there. Why? That's came up really short. It's another par 5 that we've not played particularly well. I don't think we've played particularly well today to, at all anyway, to be honest. But this is such a demanding course. Oh, we've put a slow on it. That would have been perfect too. Get in. Get in. Oh. Eh, not the slow. The slow didn't affect it really, guys. It was a push right. I do normally execute slows, as most of you guys will know. It was a push right that done the damage there. So we are going to remain at 2 under. So hole number 12, long par 4, playing 534 yards, stroke index 4. But the course looks very, very good. Oh, here's the waterfalls off in the distance. I imagine that's the Jurassic Park GC sign below us. There's it there. What a fabulous hole. This has got to be the feature hole off the course. But like I say, other than the, the first hole, the gate to the the course and the dinosaur embedded in the the mountainside. I've not seen any other real references that you would know that this was Jurassic Park. Yes, we had the big sign. Try to put a fast on this one just to get ultimate, ultimate distance. <laughs> it's a few extra yards, not much. No, didn't achieve the fast, but we've got a perfect, not a bad swing line. But that waterfalls are exquisite, guys. The fact this was designed on the PS4 is an added bonus to the, the designer because it's so so tough to design on the console compared to the PC oh, I think we're in between clubs here I don't think 2 iron gets there 2 wood's going to be too long water's in play here what a strike I think this false front's just going to prevent us from kicking on yeah 2 wood would have been far too oh you are kidding me what a horrible bounce I don't think we've got a shot here you know Oh, fortunately, it's took us out of there. We're just not getting much breaks at all. But I think a lot of this course is down to luck, guys, which I'm not a huge fan of. On another day, that ball doesn't do that. But we've had a few shots which... Oh, that's going to spin back. We've had a few shots that just seem... that we're relying on luck more than skill. Let's make sure we don't make that same mistake twice here. Definitely bogey in this anyway. Oh, that's a good shot. 
Lovely recovery shot there. It's going to be our second bogey of the round and take us back to one under. But love the concept of the course. Good layout. Just the, the landscape of the course for me is uh, ensuring that a lot of your shots are down to luck, whether you can pull them off or not. But hole number 13, par 3. Playing 172 yards, down 13 feet, 14 mile per hour wind. Just going to apply some draw here, just deal off this a touch. This wind should hold up this 8 iron. Slight push right, but it should be bang on, you know. Oh, what a shot this could be. Get in. It's another fantastic tee shot. No luck involved in that one, or lack of luck. We've got a nine foot putt up three inches. Would love to get that drop shot back. Not a lot of turn in this one. How's that turn so far right as quick as that? Wow. That first foot. Didn't expect it to break hard right like that. But we do pick up another birdie and move back to two under par. Hole number 14, par four, playing 390 yard stroke index two. But never come across this designer's work previously. I certainly don't think this is his first course. Oh, look at that. You don't want to land down the bottom of that fairway due to the mound there. But some of the, the creative holes he's designed are, are second to none. The thought process, it must have been involved in thinking, right, if I put this um, object here, that's going to restrict his view or he can't attack the green from that side due to this object being there. And the layout is very, very good. I just think it's a bit unfair at times. Like I say, it's a fantasy course, guys. We've got to take that into consideration. But a lot of the shots we've we've tried to play. Once again, it's a tough green. Especially in these winds. I would imagine in medium to low winds, you could shoot fairly well around here. There'll be guys that could nail this course in these wind conditions. I'm just, like I said, just not feeling my game at the moment, unfortunately. So we've applied draw to this 8-iron just to counteract the way. Oh, it's a push right. That could kick all the way down into that heavy rough. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a horrible swing uh, obstruction here. I knew it. That push right in the way. This is like me playing real golf. Always in the bushes looking for my ball. It's a flop shot. 90 to 95%. Probably looking for... About a 75 to 80% swing here if we can execute it. Swing in blind. Oh, I put a bit, oh, that was not a very slow. We got our 75, but due to very slow, that takes a good five yards off your ball. And it's another unforced error, really, due to swing tempo. Get in. Get in. Oh, good attempt. I don't understand how I can execute that swing. But three seconds before using the same swing technique, I get very slow. It's, it's just bizarre. I'm just feeling the game very random just now. So it's another drop shot. Look at this for a scorecard, guys. Hole number 15, par 4, playing 312 yards. Easiest hole in the course, stroke index 18. Let's see if we can walk away with birdie here. I think my main task is just finishing under par here. Really enjoying the layout of the course. Disappointed that there's been nothing in the back nine dinosaur related. I mean, I'm not a, a Jurassic Park buff. I think I watched the first film. I think there's four or five now, but it's all about dinosaurs. Have we applied enough draw? No. Just that slight push right again. Combined with the wind. Oh, everything's being magnified today. You wouldn't think that slight... Oh, do you know what? I'm maybe thinking that wind changed us there. Was it 18 mile per hour wind? Wow. This could be a good recovery. Should run out well. Oh, happy with that. It's going to leave us a pin high putt. Probably about 8, 9 feet. I'm sure the wind must have changed on us a bit there. 7 footer. Just to save part. On the easiest hole in the course. We are struggling out here today, ladies and gents. Should turn. 
does turn and we do well to to walk away with par there so let's move on to hole number 16 it's going to be a par 4 playing 477 yard stroke index 6 but yeah unless I've missed anything like I say this is the second time well I played the first three holes and um, I've played the course and I, 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 was, I missed the dinosaur in the first playthrough Ooh, now. Don't want to be... Gonna have to be right at this tree. Once again, fantastic that the designers thought of this. The hazard placement is superb. So just gonna apply a touch of fade here. Just try to land right at this tree. Hopefully we've got enough fairway to work with. Oh, we've nailed it. How's the... How's it fit? Oh, this should be superb if it holds the fairway. I think we're just going to run into the, the light rough, unfortunately. But at least we're going to have a shot or a line of sight into this 15th, uh, 16th green. 151 yards up 30 feet. So 161, 12 mile per hour wind. Oh, see, I'm, I'm just trying to land this right in the front, just past this bunker and no more. That came out clunky. Oh, that didn't come out well at all. Didn't come out well at all. There's been no easy shot into these greens. For me, anyway. Hopefully some of you guys fare better around this course. Oh, that could be in. Oh, unlucky. Good attempt. Good attempt. And hopefully we are going to knock then this six foot or four part. And remain at two under. We do. So two under with two holes to play. But this is such a challenging course and these winds. But the wind is so random at times in this game. But hole number 17, par 3, playing 231 yards, stroke index 10. But he's got all the, the finer details there. Your your paths for, for your walkways, your bridges. I'm just disappointed there's been no more Jurassic Park references after the first hole. And the sign. I wouldn't, I'm wouldn't. i not classing that. Anyone can put a sign down. So 5 iron. Wind should really carry this. The only problem is this should be bang on. The green really slopes away to the left. Just caught that tree. Yeah, there was that sloping green. I think we've played that as well as we could have. It's going to be an uphill putt, probably about 15 feet. 18 feet, slightly uphill. But the greens as well, the greens are so demanding. The challenge in the greens is is hard enough without the, the concept of the tee to fairway. Oh, I just didn't play that firm enough. Left it in the low side. Please stop. And that is going to be about a three foot putt for part. But really enjoyed the ch I'll certainly go and play this course again just to see if I can better my score. I know I could better my score, but I'm going to recreate the conditions um, as close to these ones with the, regarding the wind and the, the pin position in the tee box. But let's move on to the final hole. It's a par 5 playing 551 yards, stroke index 16. Wow, this is going to be the easiest tee shot of the round, I would say. I'm not taking anything for granted because nothing's been easy on this course yet so far. Oh, another huge false front. But yeah, the back nine is very bland, in my opinion, compared to the front nine. I really enjoyed the front nine far more than what I've enjoyed the back nine. Unless I've missed something out. But I think the course for your average player is not going to play this. And I think the concept is fantastic. The name is brilliant. The name attracted me to the course. Jurassic Par. What a name, by the way. So this 11 mile per hour wind. Oh, 70 feet. I'm just trying to bounce this on from the fairway. Touch a loft to hang it up in the air. This bunker's in play, though. It's another well-placed half. What a strike. Oh, the winds really took that. But there's that well-placed hazard again that you cannot bounce that on the green from that angle. And we're going to do well to get an up and down for birdie here. 19 yard. Oh. 
76 to 83. Bit of a slope here. Let's attack it. Let's try and put this in. Oh, it shot. Oh, would you believe it? Spun back. Gee, oh, wow. We're going to bogey this. Oh, wow. We've not had much luck around this course at all. But now I can see why people said early it was just too frustrating to play. But don't let other people's opinions put it off. Don't let my opinion put it off, guys. Go out and play this course. I'm sure the majority of you will fare better than what I have today. I've just, just not felt my round today at all. Can we save the par? Oh, we just get the par. And we are going to finish at a 200. I think that's a par 72 it was. So we finished with a 70. But that is it for Jurassic Par, guys, by Granite Super. I'll certainly be looking out for more of his courses in the future. But for me, that's a four star. There wasn't enough Jurassic Park dinosaurs. And I think... It's just a bit too brutal for an enjoyable round. But that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.